Up again, up again, up again, what's up, folks? You see what I did there? All natural, baby. So, Fred, you can suck a dick. As you can see today, I decided to be a little daring and change the color of my lips. Or did I? It seems that for once, we can't bitch about what we're going to talk about. This just makes things awkward, considering that my entire life solely revolves around complaining about things. I don't know how to fully handle this situation, but I will do my best to still make you enjoy yourselves and bust a massive geek me load all over your screens. A lot of movies today in Hollywood use extremely high-end equipment with increased CG effects, which end up giving us all that we hope and desire. Replicated Michael Bay horse shit. I mean, to be quite honest, it doesn't matter what kind of shit it is. It could be cow shit. It could be duck shit. It could be emu shit. But it's shit, nonetheless. It could be orangutan shit. Penguin shit. <laughs> Sometimes the greatest movies come without warning or trying. And the movie we are leading into is Chronicle, which stars a whole bunch of nobodies. The movie gives the feel of Cloverfield meets Heroes minus the hook jaw of Milo Ventlamiglia. And that dude's last name sounds like an STD. Or an Italian dish. I choose Italian dish. The idea behind this movie is basically a group of dick high school kids acquire superpowers and buy a handicam. Probably from Sony and decide to film the development of their powers, because hipster kids would. The trailer leaves us wanting more. Let's hope the movie doesn't leave us wanting a refund. One must assume that the camera used in this movie, this camera, will by far be the most impressive camera ever made because it can clearly handle multiple drops from varying levels. I personally would love to buy the camera that they used in Cloverfield, because that shit was like the Rocky of cameras. We held the greatest title in the whole world, babe. Eye of the Tiger, man. Eye of the Tiger is the thrill of the fight Rising up to the challenge of our rival. That motherfucker did not break. That is absolute zebra shit. Red Anvil recently came out with a comic book called War of the Independence, which stars a group of nobody heroes. I know right now you're saying, But uh, Jenny, didn't you like have zero to complain about in this episode? But I still stand by my guns. <sighs> this story might be confusing and shitty, but come the fuck on, Gumby's in it. Lord knows I've always wanted to see Gumby writing Pokey. No, not that way, you dirty fox. But could you imagine an epic looking Gumby with a machine gun and a whole lot of ass kicking action? <laughs> you better believe I would pay to see that. What, you thought I was gonna put up a screenshot or something? Uh, I don't have one. Sorry? But hey, if you want to make one, go for it. You know, submit it and we'll put it on our Facebook page. I pinky swear. Wiggle, wiggle. I promise. This I promise you. We have saved the best for last. And reason being is because I'm not exactly sure how to explain it except through varying sound effects. In our favorite segment, good <coughs> shite. And that, of course, is Batman Arkham City. After playing this game after two minutes, I was in tears. I mean, you can, ah, and then you can, ooh, and then you can be like, ah, ah, ah. Then there's this one part where there are like two guys, but you're one guy, but then you're like, fuck this, I'm Batman, boom. And forget about three guys, all right, because Batman's all like, bitch, please. You think one more guy would be an issue? Fuck no. I will use that one guy as a baseball bat. Boom, you all go down, motherfuckers. Whew. Talk about having a geek has some shit. I don't smoke and I think I need a cigarette. The only little issue I had was that there wasn't enough time spent on each villain. They just seemed to zoom by all of the villain storylines. A Superman game would be freaking sweet. And his gadgets could be his superpowers. And perhaps after a certain number of beatings, he can go all like Max Payne style and slow everything down around him and just kick ass. Just food for thought. 
So we decided to rate Batman Arkham City as good shite. Yes, it was so good that we made up a new level. Good shite. Well, kitty poos, I hope this episode was as good for you as it <laughs> was for me. Be sure to always follow us on the Facebooks and the YouTubes and the Twatters, Twitters, Twitters. Damn it, my foul mouth. Until the next episode, stay geeky, my friends. Am I invading your personal space? Good. It could be swan shit. Just because they're gorgeous doesn't mean they don't shit. Platypus shit. Turtle shit.